A 500 kilogram elevator rises up a 100 meter elevator shaft with a constant acceleration of 2 meters per second squared. When it reaches the top, the elevator comes to a complete stop before the cord suddenly snaps and the elevator falls back down the shaft. It falls a distance of 50 meters before the emergency brakes engage and cause a constant deceleration that brings the elevator to a stop 5 meters before the bottom of the shaft. To find the tension in the cord, we're going to use a force diagram and Newton's laws. So in our force diagram here, the box represents the elevator. Um, we have tension in the cord going up in the positive y direction, and we have mass times acceleration due to gravity going down in the negative y direction. And those are our two forces acting on the elevator. So we take our force diagram, which is the sum of the forces in the y direction is equal to mass times acceleration. That's Newton's law. So we're plugging in our information from the force diagram into this. So the sum of our forces is T minus mg. So T minus mg, because that is the positive direction, that's the negative direction, so it's the positive minus the negative. So T minus mg is equal to mass times acceleration. So we're trying to solve for T right now, so that's our unknown, but we fill in everything else we know. So, and then solve that out using algebra, and we get a tension of 6,000 newtons in the cord. To find the velocity of the elevator after falling 50 meters, we need to take our kinematics equation for final velocity, which is final velocity is equal to initial velocity plus acceleration times time. Plug in what we know. Our initial velocity is zero because it starts from rest. Um, we know that our um, acceleration is just the acceleration due to gravity because the elevator is in free fall, so it's negative 10 meters per second squared. And our two unknowns are final velocity and time. So we need to solve for time. And we do this by using our kinematics equation for the, um, the distance fallen. And we know that our final um, position is 50 meters, our initial position is 100 meters, our initial velocity times time is zero, plus one half times our acceleration of negative 10 times t squared. And if you solve that all out using algebra, we get a time of um, 3.16 seconds. And then we, solve, we plug that back into our um, initial equation and we get a final velocity of negative 31.62 meters per second. To find the deceleration needed, we're first going to use the kinematics equation for velocity. So final velocity is equal to initial velocity plus acceleration times time. We know our final velocity is going to be zero because the elevator is brought to a stop. Our initial velocity is negative 31.62 because that's the velocity we found for the elevator after it falls 50 meters. And our two unknowns are acceleration and time, but we do we can take out of this that acceleration times time is equal to 31.62. Now we're going to take our another kinematics equation, this one for distance. So y um, y final is equal to y initial plus initial velocity times time plus one half times the acceleration times t squared. So we plug in what we know, but the crucial part is that um, for a t squared we plug in for the a t our value that we found up here, 31.62, and then multiply that by time, and that's essentially the same as at squared. So we solve that out using algebra, we get a time of 2.85 seconds, then we plug that value for time into the first equation we found, and we get an acceleration of 11.1 .1 meters per second squared. To find the magnitude of the frictional force applied by the emergency brakes, we're going to need to use Newton's laws again and another force diagram. So for our force diagram, we have um, our frictional force going up in the positive y direction and mass times acceleration due to gravity going down in the negative y direction. So if we plug that into our Newton's laws equation, we get um, the positive F minus acceleration due to gravity mg is equal to ma. So we plug in what we know into these equations and solve it out using algebra and find that our frictional force is equal to 105.47 newtons.